Hi, so in this particular video we're going to start talking about upper and lower bounds, uh, which generally would be something like grade A, grade B at GCSE. Uh, they are a little bit tricky to deal with, but once you've got the basic principles in place, then it should be okay for you. And if you visit matsrap.co.uk and have a look at the post there, there are some details and there's also a quick test that you can download and have a go for yourself. Or if you have a look at it on YouTube, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking the link and uh, you'll be posted whenever we post new, new videos. Bounds deals effectively with tolerances or boundaries. Um, so for instance, if I look at, so uh, this is my pen and this is the lid for the pen. Now that pen lid has been manufactured within certain tolerances. In other words, it's not too big so that when I put it on the pen it's going to fall off. It's not too small so I can't get it on the pen. It's actually clicks into place, which is brilliant. It's, a, it's very, very high quality manufacturing um, so that it works every single time. And that's really the foundation of boundaries or tolerances. If you have a look at the post, it'll give you some more examples. However, for this particular question, we're going to be dealing with a speed and distance time relationship. And if you have a look at the description below the video, that will give you the whole question. So let's put the formula over here. We've got speed equals distance divided by time. And this particular question deals with a lady called Sarah who's running a marathon and uh, the distance that she covers is 26.2 miles. And the important thing is in the question it says correct to three significant Figures. Okay, what that does is it tells you that it's a bounds question. Um, similarly with the, uh, the time, the time that she takes, so I just need to check, is 3.1 hours. And that is correct to one decimal place. So in other words, we have to do something with these numbers in order to make our calculations. Um, and what the question is asking us to do is to find the longest possible time that it's going to take Sarah to complete the marathon. So the, perhaps the easiest way of answering this question is to use a chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put distance here and time here. And we're going to get two values of each. In other words, we're going to get a value for distance which is the least possible value. Um, and we're going to call that the lower bound or the smallest possible boundary. We're also going to get the upper bound. And that's the same with the time value. We're going to get the least value of time and the most value of time, or the longest possible time, when it's correct to one decimal place. So let's have a look firstly at the distance value. Now the distance value is 26.2. If you look at those numbers, um, the bit that we're interested in is this is correct to three significant figures. So in other words, what numbers, when we correct them to three significant figures, will make 26.2. Okay, <laughs> what I mean by that is, is that 26.2 is actually 26.15 correct to three significant figures because the first three figures are two, six and one. And I look at the fourth figure and because it's five or above, it means I round that up to 26.2. So in other words, the least possible value of 26.2 must be 26.15. So I can put that into my chart here. Okay, now this is where it gets a little bit trickier, but the important thing to remember is the heritage or the background of bounds 
is tolerances. So it's a bit like the pen lid, it's, it's tolerances. It can be slightly bigger or slightly smaller, but by the same amount. So you would think that if we were rounding this to 26.2 to three significant figures at the other side, at the, the, the biggest number, it would be 26.24999 recurring. And if you were dealing with rounding numbers, you would be correct. That would be absolutely right. But we're dealing with bounds, and bounds works in the way that we've got the same difference both sides of the ideal number. So in other words, with my pen top, my ideal number might be 15 millimetres, and the acceptable tolerances will be 15.1 on one side and 14.9 on the other. So it has to be an equal amount both sides. So this number 26.24999, to make it equal on both sides, would actually be 26.25 miles. Now I know it seems a little bit counterintuitive, and it certainly did with me when the first time I looked at it, but we have to look at making sure that both this side and this side are equal, so it's actually 26.15 this side and 26.25 on this side. Okay, I hope that's all right. Have a look if you want to stop the video and maybe have a look at that and try a few different uh, numbers for yourself. Okay, so we're going to look at time. Well, time again is has been given us as correct to one decimal place. So let's have a look uh, at the number. So we've got 3.1. So the lowest possible value would be 3.05 because correct to one decimal place. Well, the first decimal place is zero. Now, I then look at the second decimal place, which is five. I have to round that up then to 3.1. So the least possible value to make 3.05 correct to one decimal place, uh, 3.1 correct to one decimal place will be 3.05. So I'm going to put that into there. Okay, likewise I've got to look at the other side as well. Now again, you would think it would be 3.1499999 recurring. And again, yes you'd be right if you were rounding it. But you're not, you're dealing with bounds. So we've got to look at equal both sides. So to make it equal both sides, it'd be 3.15. So in other words, the upper bound value or the upper tolerance value will be 3.15. Okay, so the question asks us to find out the least possible value for Sarah's journey. So in other words, the least possible value will be the shortest distance divided by the longest time. So in other words, it's, it would be a very short distance and she's took it, taken a long time to actually get along that distance. Although I would say at three hours she's doing very, very well to run 26 miles. So um, the speed, least possible value would be... Um, 26.15 as the distance divided by the, um, the longest time, which is 3.15 hours. Okay, so I'm going to have to check my notes here, but 26.15 divided by 3.15 is uh, 8.3015. Eight, seven, and I think it goes on a little bit if you check with the calculator. And the question has asked us to give it to uh, one decimal place. No, it's not two decimal places. So the second decimal place is zero, which is there. So to two decimal places, it would be 8.3. Now I look at the zero, and then I look at the next number afterwards, which is one. So, in other words, the zero remains the same. So, the speed, which is going to be miles per 
hour, we've got miles every hour, so the speed, the least possible value of the speed would be 8.30 miles per hour to two decimal places. Okay, um, appreciate that was a little bit complex to go through, but if you do stop the video, have a look at it, try some of the uh, quick test uh, questions on mathsrap.co.uk. Um, please do post, tweet, embed, um, pin uh, any of these videos and also if you've enjoyed it please do um, subscribe to the channel or add a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you if you do add a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.